Okay, I'm going to go over uh, doing the spatial illusion project and I'm going to show you how to do it in Illustrator. <clears throat> I think it's a little bit easier for several reasons. If you've already figured out how to do it in Photoshop, that's fine. Uh, but I just thought I'd show you how to do it this way. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a new file and we're going to make it 8 by 10 and the resolution at 300. Make the color mode CMYK hit OK. There it is. And one thing you want to do is um, make sure that the color guide is checked and that layers are checked. And when you do, you'll see these palettes come up. Okay, don't worry about the color here. We're going to change that. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to place uh, our file. So I have a sailboat PNG file and it comes in change to my selection tool here. It comes in at a low resolution. That's okay because we're going to image trace. So I'm going to hit image trace. It's set at default. Um, and then one thing I want to do is make sure I get rid of that background. So I'm going to go ignore white and then I can collapse this. And the other thing I need to do because I want to recolor it is I'm going to have to do, I'm going to hit expand. And what that does is it shows all of the paths associated with this. Um, I want to get rid of this bounding box. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to Object, Ungroup. And that's going to allow me to select this bounding box. Now the way you're going to have to do it is you're going to click and then uh, scroll and select. That selects that bounding box. Now hit Delete. And it gets rid of that, but it leaves your boat. We want to select the boat and regroup all these paths. So we go back object and then go group. And now we can work with this. So I'm going to expand this. So I'm going to make seven of these guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is work from the front to the back. Again, we're working for a uh, open form composition. So what I want to do is uh, make a copy of this and I want it to be in back. So I'm going to go object, sorry, I'm going to go edit, copy, and go edit, paste in back, and you see the keystroke for that is command B. So now if I select and move it, there in fact is the one behind it. And we're going to change the value here and you'll see how that works, okay? Um, I could keep selecting these, but I think what I'll do is go ahead and start changing uh, the values. If I was going to have a white ground, I would have my highest contrast in the foreground. You don't have to have white, you could choose a gray, but we're going for atmospheric perspective. So what we want to do is have our last value be very close to the uh, ground value. So what I want to do is I want to recolor the artwork. So I'm going to um, edit and I'm going to go to edit colors and I'm going to choose recolor artwork. Now what happens is it's based on black and it gives me a set of rules but one of them is the grayscale. So just click on this and it populates the color guide here with this grayscale. Um, so hit OK. Now what's cool about this, with this selected, I can select any one of these nicely separated values, click on it, and <clears throat> it should uh, give me that value. Now if you look at this, it's in front. I really wanted it to be in back. It should have uh, come in back and I'm not sure what it did, but that's okay. What I can do is go uh, Object, Arrange, and go Send Backwards. And it sends it back one step. Now it's behind there. Okay. So let me copy this. So I'm going to hit Command C and then Command B, which should send me one behind there. And then uh, I'm going to change the value, make it a little lighter, and I'm going to scale it down. It's not sending it behind. That's okay. I'll just go Object, Arrange, Send Backwards. 
So the thing to notice is that, and, and some people were doing this in Photoshop, is they were making them transparent. And you can see that we don't want to do that. We want them to be opaque and we want the value to change. Um, maybe uh, I just keep going. So I'm just going to go uh, edit, copy, and then I'm going to go edit, paste them back. Hopefully it does it. And I'm going to change the value. So I'll go up, change it. Nope, it's paint doing it front <clears throat> change the scale so I'm starting to create this nice little composition um, I'm going to copy it again change the value again change the scale again copy it again and change the value again that's about as far as I'm going to go and then uh, change the scale now the one thing I'm going to do so this is I've got the scale pretty good um, this guy I'm going to move these around a little bit um, you know, I can play around with this, but uh, you pretty much get it. Uh, maybe what I want to do is get one going in the other direction. And I'll go reflect, and I'll reflect it around its vertical axis 90 degrees. Okay, there we go. So there's one guy not following the rules. And maybe I'll get this guy over here. Maybe I'll move this guy here. You know, I could still mess around with this. This guy needs to go backwards, so I'll go Object, Arrange, Send Backwards. There we go, now he's behind. And, you know, this isn't terribly interesting, but it gets the job done. The one thing I could do is, is change the ground and I could have done that at the very beginning, um, but I can do uh, create a new layer. So maybe lock this layer. And uh, on this new layer, um, I can actually change the layer arrangement. So now it's behind. I can select uh, with the rectangle tool. And what we see here is in the palette. And you see it's changed it. Now the problem is, is that I've got one of the values uh, exactly uh, the same. So I, I would need to change this. So maybe what I want to do is uh, go to the palette here. And you can see it, it changed that one right there. Um, and maybe what I'll do is go back to this layer and Select this guy. Maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to change his value and make it a little darker. Something like that. I can also, um, if I wanted to, and make this a little lighter, um, I could go back to my uh, transparency. Make sure transparency is checked. And um, Select this guy. Maybe it needs to be. It's barely there. So I've done that by changing the transparency. So different ways to do that. Um, OK. So now what I can do is export it. And when I export it, it'll crop all that stuff. I'll go File. I should save it as an Illustrator file. to the desktop save it okay and then uh, file export as a JPEG
And then the last thing I would need to do is bring it into Photoshop. I uh, bring it to Photoshop and go File, New, and uh, set it at inches. Eight. 10 at 300 CMYK, OK, file, place, and go to the desktop. Here's my JPEG, place. I just need to scale it up a little bit. I'm going to hit the Shift key, Enter. There it is. File, save as. I'll call it uh, boat one. I'll save it as a Photoshop. I'm sorry, JPEG. Save. OK. When I did that, it flattened everything. I'm good. That's it.